George Masvidal is mounting off the trash talk ahead of his fight with Kobe Covington. This past week, George Masvidal dropped a video blasting on Kobe Covington, the real estate Jiras, where he tried to expose Covington. Again, this Monday, George Masvidal recorded the video message for Kobe Covington from American Top Team Gym. And he posted this video on his Instagram and Twitter handle. They are going long awaited battle less than a month away. Check it out what Mass Vidal said for Covington. At the home in the temple, home to some real motherfuckers. Left and right, I'm not the only one here that's a bad motherfucker. Many bad motherfuckers here. But not your bitch ass that got kicked out from here. Damn, man. I know it hurts every time you see that shit. I know what a sensitive bitch you are and how you read comments and cry. I can't imagine. Every time you see this symbol, it just hurts, man. Keep talking shit, though. I can't wait, man. March 5th is getting closer. So is this knee to your temple. Not only am I going to break your face in a very violent way, but the UFC is going to see you as such a liability that they're going to kick you out, bro. And then it's going to be back to Indian reservations where you could fight. Maybe you could co-main event or some shit like that, because I don't even think you main event after I'm done with you in any show. I'm going to fuck you up, man. Keep talking that shit, though, man. My truth can't come close enough. See you soon, bitch. Never forget. UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya's coach Eugene Behrman said his initial planning on how to win the battle against Robert Whittaker at the rematch on UFC 271. On the recent talk with Submission Radio, he said we are not looking for a knockout this time, but it's gonna be 25 minutes of accumulating damage. Uh, look, no, people aren't gonna agree with me, but the, 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 the ultimate thing you can do in fight sports, um, I think, is not a knockout it's a it's a whitewash and so what i would like to happen is just a five round um whitewash where there is no stoppage this time but like every round is just a cumulative a cumulative a cumulative damage um, um and just um no it just leaves no doubt it just leaves no doubt it's 25 minutes of um mastery Dustin Poirier admits he is not going to face Conor McGregor for the fourth time in the UFC. But he definitely loved to face Conor McGregor in the boxing ring. Poirier posted this video where he is punching heavy bag. Tyson Fury vs Dylan White venue is set. The heavyweight bout between Tyson Fury and Dylan White is set to stay at Wembley Stadium in front of 90,000 people. Now Tyson Fury is in Dubai and he is training very hard for his next opponent Dylan White. <laughs> Alexander Volkanovski blast on Max Holloway for offering service as a backup fighter for UFC 273. Volkanovski vs Max Holloway were originally booked for the trilogy fight at UFC 272. But due to injury, Max Holloway pulls out the fight and Korean Zombie replaced the Max Holloway and the fight sipped to UFC 273. But few weeks later, Max Holloway team reveals that Holloway is out of injury and he is resuming his training. And they notice company that Max Holloway is available to fight for UFC 273 if someone fall out on short notice. UFC champion Volkanovski find the whole things to be quite suspect. He blast on Max Holloway on social media. Max Holloway want to be the backup fighter for the fight he was originally scheduled to fight. So in other words, he was never injured. Just hoping he doesn't have to fight me or fight me while I'm preparing for someone. But hey, if you end cheating, you end trying. What do you think about this whole situation? Please write down below your thought on the comment section.